morning and welcome to day 13 of our 40 days of glory. Our theme for the day is break the limit of small thinking. Break the limit of small thinking. I will read from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 uh, verse 49. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone. He slung it and struck the Philistines in his forehead, so that the stone sank into the forehead and it, it fell on his face to the head. That is just a summary of how David defeated Goliath. Now, in leading up to that process, we need to think about David's thinking. David won Goliath partly by thinking big. He was not thinking small at all. He was thinking very big. As Christians, we are spiritual entities. And the way we think, what we think about determines what happens to us. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so he is. And so here, defeating Goliath meant David, in order for David to defeat Goliath, he was thinking very big. And we are going to look at his pattern of thinking, his pattern of thought, and how that helped him to defeat Goliath. Earlier in verse 46, David said, This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands. I will strike you and take your head from you. David had already said it. He was already thinking that he was going to, you know, take the head of Goliath. And that was his thought. And it is important to note that while David was thinking about taking down the head of Goliath, the physical circumstances of David did not dictate that he could take on the head of Goliath. David was only 17. He was not old enough to be recruited into the army. He's never fought a battle in his life. He's not a soldier. He's not well equipped. He didn't have a sword. So saying that he would take down the head of Goliath was really big thinking. For a man, the circumstance who was uh, who are the circumstances of David, but here is what happened: the pattern. David did not look at his own circumstances; rather, he was thinking about God, the power of God. In verse forty-seven, uh, he said, "Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and it will give you into my hands." He made it clear, even though I don't have a sword, I know a God who does not save with sword and spears. So though you are well equipped, I am going to take down your head. That was the thinking of David. And when David eventually started fighting, look at his thinking. The all mark of his thinking was very unique in the first attack he launched at Goliath. And that attack got down Goliath. When David aimed for Goliath, he didn't aim for the feet of Goliath. He didn't aim for the hand of Goliath. He didn't aim for the chest of Goliath. He aimed for the head of Goliath. He made a very bold, big thinking. He took a very bold step. And today, I am asking you to do the same. Begin to think, think big about your life. David did not limit the reach of his power to overcome Goliath to his personal circumstances. He knew quite all right he was a small boy. He knew he had only fought animals. He's never fought a war against soldiers. He's not a soldier. He's not old enough to be in the in the army. So, but he aimed for he aimed big. He think big. He thought that he would bring down the head of Goliath, and he did exactly that. Do not, as we continue in these forty days of, of glory, I want to point your attention to this. Do not limit yourself to your personal, to your physical circumstances. That was what David did. He did not limit himself to his physical circumstances. Know that the power of God is large enough. God is powerful enough to accommodate the biggest of your thinking. And today, I want you to be thinking very uh, big. Start thinking big. Though you may not have, have a sword, you may not have a spear, you can bring down the head of the Goliath of your life. Though you may not be smart enough, though you may appear to be weak, Though you may appear to be sick, you can do the greatest thing on earth. Today, I ask you to start thinking big. Do not waste your faith. Our faith in God is precious. It is too big, it is too significant to think about minute things. 
to think, to limit our thinking, to limit the extent of our reach in life. Start thinking of getting to high places in life. Start thinking of doing the great and bold, audacious things in life. If you are a researcher, start thinking of getting a solution to cancer. If you are a businessman, start thinking of bringing up your business with integrity and becoming a billionaire. If you are looking for a, if you are looking for a, a job, start thinking of owning your home business. If you are sick and you just think God manage, let me manage this sickness or for the distance, start thinking that God will totally, completely remove that sickness. May the Lord bless you today as you think big. Break the limit of negative thinking in your life today. In the name of Jesus, come with me. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we come before you this day. We acknowledge that you are the Lord of our lives. We know that you are a big God, you are a powerful God. Today, help us to match our thinking with your power. Help us to match our thinking with the things that you can do. Distract us, help us to overlook our weaknesses, our physical weaknesses, and embrace the power that you give. Lord God, we thank you for this. We know that we are going to higher places. We know that we can think big. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.